model off explode. Just finished wiring the comma. I'll give you a quick, quick rundown. As you can see, we've connected our wiring. This is the uh, harness. And you have your USB-C and your Cat5. Then you have your pass through. So you take the IPMA connected to this box and then this wire passes through and connects to this connector here. This black connector. So what right underneath the gray connector is the black connector. So you just pull it off, connect to this and then this connects to that. Then we wired, routed our cabling underneath. Basically took all this out it underneath and then we took it under the chair we took it under the chair under this right here this little rocker trim piece where we opened it up and you can see i zip tied everything we zip tied it wrapped it and then we wrapped it under here so we just tucked it underneath here all along to the front and as you can see you see it exit back out so then we zip tied it again, nice and clean, make sure it's organized. And then this is the part where we had to use the USB extender. So this is one of two extenders. So it's, it's a 10 foot cable. And this right here, I believe is another, either three or six, I have to double check. I'm pretty sure about six. So this then wires, runs up. The Cat5 connects to the OBD and the comma unit for the OBD and then the other USB-C routes underneath. So we pulled off the trim here to get us nice and clean access. And we also pulled off the pillow trim. We routed the USB-C, you can kind of see it. We zip tied it. What we're trying to do is try to have it on the back side. So when we put the pillars, it won't interfere. And then we wire it, run it. And then right here on the very top, it's another extension. And then we basically ran it down. So we're gonna get some some clips here, right here, to make it nice and stabilized. And that's our unit. So when we turn on the unit, as you can see, it's everything is up and running. And we're gonna put everything back together right now. Um, one of the reasons why we took off the pillar is a lot easier when you take it off to reinstall it that way. Um, so we're going to put everything back together and give you the kind of the completed look.